Hi, friends. First of all, a huge thank you to Sonia and the Beautylish team for being generous in sending her her new Fusion Sheer Buffer Brush. I was elated when encountering the news for this brush release and of course, if even if they weren't going to send it, I was going to buy it anyway because I am, as you can see right now, I am a full supporter of Sonia and Sonya G brand. I have, I think I have all of her brushes I can safely say. If maybe a few of the fundamentals I don't have, but from the Face Pro set on, I got all of them. We'll get into the details, the product details, pricing, the construction of the brush, the raw materials used to create it. As always with any Sonya G brush video, I would highly recommend that you visit her blog, sweetmakeuptemptations.com to get the full throttle breakdown. The way Sonya breaks down her process, her inspiration, why she uses synthetic, I mean, it's incredible. The diameter measurements, the comparisons, the different products you could use this brush with. And we'll get into a few B-roll demos as well as some on-camera demos. But getting into the details quickly, this brush does retail for $65. You can get it as a single. It is designed with the beautiful red to black gradient pro tapered handle design with the glossy black ferrule and you have the actual brush head that is a mixture of synthetic and goat bristles specifically the taller bristles here that look faded at the tip of the brush are all synthetic and the bulk of the brush is made of both goat and synthetic fibers sonia's mission in designing the fusion shear buffer emerged from her desire to create a tool that was not too soft but not too precise either because typically stippling brushes which this one is it now finds itself in the stippling brush category of things they could be as as Sonia had described, a little too flimsy or a little too direct. And just as an example, I have two stippling brushes here, one being the Spectrum and Katie Jane Hughes brush. This is a non-traditional stippling brush. You see that there are two layered. You got the shorter bristles here, the longer bristles, all synthetic. This is specifically the number three. It moves pretty well, but it is very flimsy. It doesn't have the same directness, right? But then you'll have a stippling brush that's a little too spiky maybe, that maybe is a little too aggressive on the blend. Another stippling brush here, definitely very floaty, right? So if you wanted more robust product pickup, more robust blend on the skin, Sonia wanted to create, again, a tool that's going to give you that silky feel on the skin, but nice pickup at the same time. But you just have a spectrum of possibilities in terms of how you could use this brush and how you can dial up or down the application of your products. The Fusion Sheer Buffer was specifically designed for lightweight application from cream bronzers or, or other cream products, specifically in the cheek category category, but I also use this with a foundation and you'll see that B-roll in a moment because I thought the Fusion Sheer Buffer was appropriate to use with the Pratchett Ta Cream Foundation and Finishing Powdering Duo. We'll get to that in a second, but quickly going over the bristle type again, two layers of bristles. The top layer is responsible for picking up product and the second layer here is responsible for buffing that product into the skin. And here is the brush head on. I already used it, so you see there's some product there on the tips of the brush, but it has beautiful flexibility, but at the same time, nice feedback. Sonia had expressed that it was challenging to create a soft feeling brush, but one that was strong at the same time in terms of performance. And again, you either have a stippling brush that was too directional or too soft. So Sonia sought out to create something that sat somewhere in the middle, which is typically what she does in, in regards to her brush brand. Sonia loves to design brushes that she doesn't think exist already 
in the Fude world, Fude is brush in Japanese. That gives Sonia the ammunition to perhaps create a brush design with a unique blend, unique density type and shape to fill in those missing pieces in someone's makeup routine. So we have the fusion sheer buffer that's gonna give us a soft application, an adequate bristle feel at the same time. So it's not so soft, but not too directional either. It, it truly is an outstanding brush. And something else that is remarkable with Sonia brushes, and this could also happen with another brand brush too, is we might have makeup products in our collection that we don't use very often because we don't have that tool, right? And I've done this as well. If a makeup product doesn't perform well on me or it doesn't meet my expectations, I usually blame the product. Now I evolved that perspective and started to look at the tools. What is the makeup product doing in terms of how it's formulated? What is it supposed to give? And what makeup tool I think is appropriate to use with that makeup product to help it deliver its best. And that's what Sonia wanted to do also with some products maybe in your makeup collection that have been collecting dust because again, when you try to apply it, something was off, it was uneven in the application, spotty, not, you know, everyone's raving about this product and on me, it looks like trash. Well, now when it comes to cream bronzers that you have in your collection that you have been using or, or a cream cheek product that you haven't been using because you haven't had the right tool, case in point, the ultra big gel -A textures in the bronzer powder category of things, when she released the Najee Pro, this thing picks up the hardest <laughs> baked of bronzers, okay? And bronzers that many had used before maybe the brush was too soft or what have you and you're like there is no where is the bronzer that was an example of a brush design that Sonia created that fixed that gap that filled in that gap right and I think now with the cream bronzer category as of late you know a lot of the cream bronzers nowadays that have been releasing have been great but maybe there was one uh from years back I might I don't do I have an old bronzer cream something I haven't had that product but let me know down below if you had like a cream bronzer product or whatever maybe the Chanel the Soleil de Bronze whatever that product was called that was tough to find a brush to work with but now we got the fusion sheer bronzer maybe it'll be working out better. I will add this to my current Fusion series brushes, the Fusion face set released back in June, 2021. That was an exciting time because it was the first brush set that presented a hybrid bundle type between goat and synthetic. And then September, 2022, Sonia released her Fusion eye set, which was remarkable. Talk about filling in the gap, right? When it comes to cream and liquid eyeshadows, some products definitely collected dust in that category for myself included because some cream products are tricky to use, but to have the right ratio of synthetic and natural for that impeccable pickup and blend, forget it. I've been using my Fusion eye set brushes even with powders because they're so versatile and definitely have elevated a lot of products for me for, for eyeshadow in a way that now I constantly reach for them because again, I got the tools. So let's get into the first demo, shall we? I was curious to see how the sheer buffer, the fusion sheer buffer, excuse me, will apply foundation. And I was going through the different foundations that I have in my collection. And I decided to go again with the Patrick Ta because this was a foundation formula that I discovered if you apply too much of, it could look a little greasy on the skin. I guess greasy isn't the right word, just too made up, right? A little too much. And it's the type of product that just blends seamlessly into the skin where you might not see it and you end up applying too much. With the Fusion Sheer Buffer, however, that top layer will pick up the right amount and the second layer of synthetic and goat bristles will buff that well into the skin. And I think left behind a beautiful natural finish. And it was a pleasure to use with this type of product. I yet have to see how it would fare out with my Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm or even my House Labs. I'm a little iffy about using a liquid product with 
with this brush because it's not as densely packed as let's say the Fusion Jumbo Base. This won't absorb as much product as the Fusion Sheer Buffer for obvious reasons. You don't have as many bristles in here as you do with the Jumbo Base. So this will be something I will use with the liquid product, but the Patrick Ta Cream Foundation, you know, is lightweight, but I think a great formula to use with the Fusion Sheer Buffer. And again, the finish I adore. I loved how my skin looked and I forgot about this foundation. Another reason why I'm happy I didn't go crazy with foundation purchasing in the last Sephora Spring Savings event and why I haven't yet purchased the Danessa Yummy Skin Tint because I got so much makeup. But now moving into the next product application, I of course had to test the Fusion Sheer Buffer with my beloved Say Sun Melt Cream Bronzer in Medium Bronze. Perfect application, especially since this color for me, I can use a variety of brushes with, right? But using the Fusion Sheer Buffer was a pleasure because it deposited the right amount. It looked smooth on my skin. It blended well, no skips, just didn't look heavy. And because of the Fusion Sheer Buffer's density, you have more control in terms of the intensity you can build with this brush. There's no fear in, oh, I apply too much, especially, okay, so I did not buy the next shade up from Medium Bronze. I'm aware that Say expanded their Sun Melt range, and one of you who are like, listen, the tan color is, is beautiful. With that said, the Fusion Sheer Buffer, I think, will deposit that deeper shade in a way that won't look too heavy on my skin. And I can only imagine how it will fare out, I think positively with the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. I don't have that product because my gosh, that compact is huge. And I already have two of her powder bronzers, so I just couldn't do it fan enough. So I'm sorry if you wanted to see that demo. I don't got that product. Forgive me. Another product that I wanted to try this with was the LYS stick. I would rather, however, use a smaller brush simply because of the smaller stick size. Even though it's a stick, what the Fusion Sheer Buffer will do is apply it in a much more diffused manner versus using a smaller brush that will obviously be more precise. But you see here, it's going to have, again, more of that blown out application, which is what the Fusion Sheer Buffer is designed to do, especially if you were find it challenging with certain cream products, especially with bronzer, you weren't getting like that, that enveloped heat look from the bronzing product. And this is what, again, the brush is designed to deliver. So I love it with the Say, and of course had to use this with the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Flush Powder. This is in the shade Jubilee. Perfect with the Blurring Balm Flush. So the top layer bristles, I did two applications. I did the sweep and I did the swirl. I like the swirl because even though you're swirling the brush in the pan, because of the lighter layer of synthetic bristles that emerge from the brush, it won't pick up as much. So it's the, I think, balanced amount that applies on the cheek. And of course it applied in no time at all. It wasn't spotty, it was even across the apples of my cheeks and a little higher also on the cheekbones. On the other side, I wanted to try, of course, Pat's Glow Color Bomb. Now with the Color Bomb, not as ideal because it's a lot more translucent. It's more like a balm, whereas the blurring flushed is giving you more color payoff from the get. The Glow Color Balm, I think, is better applied with a smaller, denser brush because that's gonna have more product pickup because as you see, I have to whisk the Fusion Sheer Buffer against the stick several times to get the right amount of payoff that I was looking for. Whereas another product I think the Fusion Sheer Buffer will be great with is the Phytal Surgeon Skin Spark Blush Balms. This is in the shade Ember. And the formula for the phytosurgeons is softer and moussier. So I tap the Fusion Sheer Buffer lightly into the pot because it's gonna have a lot more payoff than like, let's say the Glow Color Balm or even the Nessa Blurring Balm Flush. So I was very careful with the pickup, but even if I decided to be more generous and swirl, it's gonna pick up, I think, an appropriate amount and get it on there quickly. It's extraordinary. And of course, bridges the gap between someone's confidence in or not confidence in applying a cream blush product like the Phytosurgeons and nailing it. 
right? Because the brush is gonna do everything for you. It's going to provide that smooth blend, look natural, and you have control over the intensity of the color payoff, okay? And you're like, oh no, what do I do? I apply too much. Have your towel on standby, remove excess product, and just lightly whisk it and get to that color payoff you're looking for. And like I said, smooth, it doesn't disturb your foundation underneath. Because of that softer first layer of synthetic bristles, it won't interfere with that application and look uneven from underneath. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going back into the Patrick Ta and feathering the edges of Singe, yeah? Isn't that lovely? So those were the main B-roll demos that I filmed before coming on here for the main portion, but why don't you come in a little closer for a few more demos? Cause you know, I just love the demos. <gasps> That's enough. Here's another close up shot of everything that has been applied. We got the Patrick Ta, we got the Say, we got the LYS, we got the Jubilee from the Nessa. And here we have Final Surgeons as well as the uh, Pat McGrath Labs Glow Color Bomb. So what else could I possibly apply? Well, I could go in with Bellini and like I did with Jubilee, I do a light swirl. I'm not applying too much pressure, right? If you want, you can work the product on the back of your hand first, but I feel pretty confident in going directly onto my face. And because Bellini is the lighter peach shade, I'm pulling it over the center of my face to give like that spring-like fresh effect. And the brush is incredibly soft. It basically skims across the surface of your skin and leaves behind that beautiful layer of color that still looks natural that you can build up more if you wish to. And I, you know, every time I film with the Sony G brush, I'm always amazed. Despite my high expectations, despite how positive my experience has been with her entire brand, I can't get enough. It's just, when she releases a brush, when she designs some, it's exquisite. And now to have a tool that conquers cream bronzers and cream blushes like no other, in addition to what we already have from her Fusion face set, my goodness, it's too much. Even though the Fusion Sheer doesn't pick up the glow color bomb sticks as well, I can still see how it fares out if I applied the stick first, right? So if I went in directly onto the skin and went in with the Fusion Sheer Buffer to blend that out in a jiffy, I mean, that was fast. So that is a step you can take, right? What I've been doing is going in with my Divine Blush brush, tapping and applying. But again, like I had demonstrated in my original Glow Color Bomb video, you could just do, go directly with the stick and then blend out from there. The Fusion Sheer buffer is exceptional for that task, as you just saw. A few comparisons between her brushes that are all natural, but definitely the shape reminds me of the original face one. This is a flat topped all powder brush specifically designed for mineral foundation application to get that smooth blend with that product and to have it buffed down in a way that leaves behind a, a radiant natural finish. And I believe she released her Buffer Pro next. I think her Buffer Pro definitely was modeled after her face one. It looks like the Buffer Pro is a little longer in the bristle length. And then she came out with her smooth buffer that was added to her Sky Set series. So compared to the Fusion Sheer Buffer, the smooth buffer has smaller bristles, smaller not only than the original face one, but also smaller than the Buffer Pro, right? I have a video going over the smooth buffer, and again, mostly just used with powders. And then she released her Kiyaki buffer. I think the same as the Buffer Pro, but in the Kiyaki model design where you have the Kiyaki wood for the handle. So it's, it's fantastic that Sonia came out with a fusion design that's similar to like the face one vibe in terms of the flat top, right? Now we got a stippling brush from Sonia. I am thrilled. Now powders, 
I wouldn't use a fusion sheer buffer with powders because you have plenty of Sony G brushes or other brushes that you might have in your Fude collection that I think are just better with powder. Again, this was designed specifically for cream bronzers and cheek products, but that doesn't mean you can't experiment on your own, right? Maybe you dibble and dab in different makeup products and something emerges from those experiments. You're like, oh, I like how this looks on my face. Knock yourself out. Applying a little bit of foundation here at the top because I, you know how I love to overdo it with the blush, okay? So you can see just how beautifully the brush moves against the skin. How the brush feels on the skin is lovely, right? Especially if your experience with stippling brushes hasn't been great. If, again, it's soft, but it's not directional. It's too flimsy. You can't feel where the product is going. There's no appropriate feedback. Whereas you have the other side or the other side of the spectrum where the stippling brush is a little too spiky and you're limited to the different application techniques you can use because <laughs> you don't want your face to hurt. Again, I understand I have a relationship with Sonia. She, I consider her a friend and we have a great relationship as well as Beautylish. And every time she releases something, if it's not limited edition, of course, that they'll send me her brushes. So I get this is a biased video and my point of view is biased, but what is indisputable, okay, is the flawless application that I get, that I experience using Sonia's brushes period. And I have other favorites too from other Fude brands, 100%. And Sonia has her favorite Fude as well. In regards to the Fusion Sheer Buffer, this is an exceptional tool. I absolutely love how it applies all the products that I demoed on this video. And I will continue to use it heavily with those products. And I admire how my complexion looks, the finish, the brush leaves behind and how effortless now it is to use these products. Again, back to the original point, if you had products or have products in your collection that you haven't been using because the, the tool selection has been poor, you didn't have the right brush to allow this makeup product to truly shine for, for whatever it's supposed to do, it's, it's been misled, okay? It can't do it, it's stuck. Perhaps the Fusion Sheer Buffer is the key to unlocking that makeup product's potential for you. So let me know, fam, if you've already ordered and have used Sonia's new Fusion Sheer Buffer. Maybe you have your favorite stippling brushes down below, your favorite products that you like to use those brushes with. I would love to know. And with that said, I will see you down in those comments. And until then, that is... Around. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I will see you in here again with another review tutorial, Fude video extravaganza, or more bronzer and cheek content because I have all the products to film with. Take care and I will see you again soon.